Hello runners, welcome back to Ibex Running. My name is Kristen, I'll be your coach for today. And we're gonna be doing a hill interval run today. It's gonna be 20 minutes and let's get going. We're gonna start with a three minute warm up, just a nice brisk pace walk right here, 2.5 to 4.5 miles per hour, just to get us nice and warmed up. All right, guys, your incline should also be at 0.5 or 0 right now. We're going to keep the incline low for the warm-up. And then we're going to bump it up a little bit for our first incline walk. And how it's going to look is like this. You're going to have incline walks, and then you're going to have flat road runs. So we'll alternate between the two of those. That way you get some recovery in between those incline walks. Let your uh, calves and booty have a break from all those incline runs. <laughs> all right, for the next minute, we're just going to bump up the speed a little bit to a light jog, anywhere from 4.5 to 6.5 miles per hour. Get that heart rate up. Prepare our body for what we're about to do today. We're gonna have a good time running, guys, and climbing those hills. So we're gonna be here until three minutes, then we're gonna go down to a walking pace, but we're gonna bump up that incline. But before we start, I'm just gonna go over some of my favorite running cues. If you've heard them before, I'm gonna remind you again. It's run tall, run soft, don't forget to breathe and have fun, guys. Exercise is not a punishment. It's a celebration of our bodies and what we can do, and it's an amazing experience that you should always be proud of. So have a good time today. Put the work in, and I know you'll be happy and proud of yourself at the end. All right, we're gonna do another minute here, getting that heart rate up and preparing for our workout. All right, everyone, 30 seconds. We're gonna start our incline walk, our first one. So get ready to bump up that incline, but bring the speed down. All right, I'm gonna count you guys down. 10 seconds. Ready, three. Two, one, we're gonna bring the speed down to a nice brisk walk, 2.5 to 4.5. Bump up that incline to 2%. We're gonna start you off nice and light. Get those calves ready for what they're about to do. We'll be here for two minutes. There we go, nice and easy. Getting used to that incline. Great job, guys. About one more minute here. And then we're gonna go to a flat road run for one minute. So we're gonna take the incline down, bump up the speed. But we got another minute here. Whew. Nice deep breaths, long strides, keeping your chest up. Those are all good cues. I remind myself when I'm running all the time. And even when I'm doing these incline walks. Good job, 30 more seconds here, and then we're gonna go to our flat road run. <laughs> I 
All right, guys. We're going to go to that run in five, four, three, two, one. Bring the incline down. Bump up that speed. Incline at 0.5. Running anywhere from 4.5 to 6.5. One minute here, guys. There we go. Only 45 seconds left. Nice short little burst of running in between our incline walks. There we go, 30 seconds. All right, 15, keep the pace. You get that walk coming up next, 10 seconds. And three, two, one, bring the pace down and bump up that incline. We're gonna be at 4% now, higher than the last one. Whew. Gonna be here for two minutes. Incline at four, nice brisk walking pace. If you've never done inclines before, you're in for a treat. You feel like, ah, oh, I'm just walking, but those inclines really get your heart rate up without the impact of running. So they're a great addition to your workout routine. <sighs> See our heart rate is still up right now from that run because this incline is still intense. All right, we have one more minute here. And then we're back to our flat road run. Keep that pace up here with this nice brisk walk. Anywhere from 2.5 to 4.5 miles per hour. Whew, you guys feel those calves? I do. All right, 30 more seconds here. And then we're gonna run. And you get a break from that incline. All right, 15, get ready for that run. All right, three, two, one, bring that incline down, 0.5, bring that speed up, anywhere from 4.5 to 6.5. One minute here, guys, let's go. Keep it up, guys. You got this. Don't slow the pace down. We're not done yet. 30 more seconds here. Almost there. Then we get that incline walk. 10 seconds, three, two, one, bring that speed back down, and we're bringing that incline up all the way to 6%, keep that walking pace between 2.5 and 4.5, keep it brisk, none of these slow walks, you don't need that. You came on this workout today to work, so let's go. Be here for two minutes, already 30 seconds down. That incline is getting higher. It is creeping on us. Whew.
All right, everybody, one more minute here. It's the 6% incline. We're feeling our posterior chain muscles. That's our glutes, our hamstrings, our calves. They are working hard right now. And I know you love it. Whew. All right, we are almost ready for that run again. We have 30 more seconds here. And then we'll hit that flat road run. Don't slow down that pace yet. Don't put down that incline. 15. Almost there. Bring the incline down to zero and we'll bump it up to a run. Let's go three, two, one. Nice, bring that incline down. Speed back up, anywhere from 4.5 to 6.5. Let's go, one minute here. Ooh, it feels good to be flat again. <laughs> Great job, guys. 30 seconds here. I am sweating. Almost there. 15 seconds, and we're going to take it back to that incline walk. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that speed down. We are going to bump it up, going to 8%. Whew. That incline is going to feel nice and steep. Don't slow down your pace. Don't hold on to those handlebars. I know you want to. It is not time for that. Whew. We're going to be here for two minutes, climbing this hill. Remember, keep that speed anywhere from 2.5 to 4.5. Great job, guys. After this, we only have one more hill climb. And I know you got this in you. It's only a couple more minutes of work left. And we're going to crush it together. All right, one more minute here. I am feeling this, guys, in the best possible way, of course. We are almost ready for that flat road run. I don't know about you, but I can't wait. All right, 30 seconds, and we get that flat run. I know we're looking forward to it. All right, we are almost there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that incline down, thank God. And we are going to bump up the speed to a run for our one minute flat road run. Whoo! <sighs> So nice. All right, guys. 30 more seconds here at this run. Then we have our final interval walk, climbing up that mountain. It's our last one. It's also our highest one. So we're going to have to push, push through the fatigue, push through those calves burning. I'm going to stick with it. I know you are too. Are you ready? Five, 
four, three, two. All right, bound to that walking pace and all the way up to 10% incline. Woo. That is a climb, but you know what? It's your last climb and I know you have it in you. We're gonna be here for two minutes. We're already done 30 seconds, so only have 90 seconds left here. Whew. All right, just digging those feet in. A little bit of a forward lean. I don't mean a hunching type of lean. Just shifting your weight forward a little bit. Driving those feet back like you're on a skateboard and pushing off of that leg. Getting all those posterior chain muscles working hard. All right, 45 seconds left. I just talked our way through half of that. <laughs> Whew. There we go, 30 seconds. Then we get our final flat road run. I know I'm looking forward to it. I bet you guys are too. Here we go, 15 seconds. And we're gonna bring that incline down. You got this guys, you're almost there. Don't hold on. Don't touch that speed yet. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Bring that incline down. And we're bringing the speed up to our final jog. Woo. There we go. I know you may not want to run right now, but you can do it. You're not going to regret the work you put in today. But you will regret it if you slack off this last little bit when you're right at the end. Whew. 30 seconds. Let's go. You got this. Almost there. 15. We get to walk soon. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's walk. Whew. That feels so good. All right, bring your speed down. 2.5 to 4.5. Incline. Is it 0.5? And we get two minutes here to catch our breath and congratulate ourselves for finishing that grueling mountain climb. Whew. You know, it feels so good to look back and think, man, I just really spent 20 minutes on the treadmill and it actually wasn't that bad. And I did it. It's always how I feel after I run. I'm like, oh, look, I did it. <laughs> we are capable of so much more than we think. Don't doubt yourself. You have a lot more you can give. All right, our final minute. I'm going to bring my speed down just a little bit more Whew, so I can catch my breath, get my heart rate down. Feels good to be on flat ground again. <laughs> nice and sweaty. 30 more seconds here, guys. I just want to say thank you for joining me with Ibex Running. I hope you come back again for another killer workout. I promise you'll have fun. I promise I'll annoy you by talking the whole time and reminding you of your running cues. And we'll have a great time.